Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1409. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1409 start or the finished file so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here, and there's two titles for it because I couldn't figure out what to name this video. We're definitely going to replace VLOOKUP and SUM IFS with relationships in a pivot table if you have Excel 2016. And the other thing this video could be called is how to bring multiple tables into the pivot table field list without power pivot. Now, this trick is going to require that you have Excel 2016. Now, I actually have a bunch of notes over here on the sheet relationship notes. Here's the step by step, including the dialog box for relationship and what the create pivot table dialog box should look like. Now, we want to go look at our end result. This is our end result. So we need to get region and then the sales. So the fundamental problem here is that in our sales table, we do have our sales rep and our sales, but we don't have a column for region. Over here is a unique list of the sales rep and then a region column that lists the region that each sales rep sells in. Now, before we see how to do this, let's go over to the sheet VLOOKUP because here's how you can do it with formulas. Here's our sales table. F2, we used VLOOKUP to look up the particular sales rep and go and retrieve the region. So this is an extra column we added using formulas. And then once we're done, we use some ifs to summarize the sales from this column based on the region. Now, there's not necessarily anything wrong or inefficient with these formulas. Some ifs and VLOOKUP, I use them all the time, especially on a small data set. But we definitely want to see an alternative to using VLOOKUP and some ifs. Now, again, we're going to be able to do this without power pivot. This is an amazing trick that works in Excel 2016. There's our end result. We simply want both of these tables in our pivot table field list. Then we'll simply drag region field from the lookup table, sales from the sales table, and we'll have our report. Now, in order to get this trick to work, we want to go look at the data ribbon tab. We're going to use the relationships button. Wait a second. It's grayed out. Yes, we have to have two Excel tables in order for that button to become illuminated so we can use it. Not only that, but when we use the Relationship button, even if we don't have Power Pivot, it will dump the tables into the data model and will allow us to create the relationship and drag and drop fields from two tables. Now, the Sales table is already converted to an Excel table, and I named it. So now we have to convert this one. And we're going to watch on the Data Ribbon tab what happens to that button. Now I have to convert it to an Excel table by going to Insert Table or using the keyboard Control-T. My table has field names. Click OK or hit Enter. Immediately, we want to go to Table Tools, Design, Properties, and I want to name this something. I called it D Sales Rep. And now look what happens, Data. There it is. Now that Excel knows there's two Excel tables, it can build a relationship. I click this button, and we want to select New. There's our Relationships dialog box. Now, the key is, is that the related table is our lookup table. The way I always remember is I see the word primary. In databasing, a primary key is a unique list of items in the first column. Our sales rep table has a unique list, one of each sales rep, and then the region in the second column. So when I see primary, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the lookup table. Related table is lookup table. I click the drop down. Notice it just says worksheet table. But as soon as I select that worksheet table and the correct column, that's our sales rep. Remember, if we were using VLOOKUP, we would actually look up the sales rep to retrieve the region. So really, there's like there's a relationship between these two sales reps, right? Now I'm going to come up and put the F sales table in. And of course, this column is sales rep. When I click OK, behind the scenes, it's dumping it into the data model and creating the relationship. Click Close. 
I'm going to show you that they actually went there. But again, you do not have to have Power Pivot. So I go to the Power Pivot ribbon tab, Data Model. You can see the two tables down here. If we come up to Diagram View, we can see there's a one to many relationship. One means there's a unique list of sales rep in that first column, one of each. And then, of course, there can be many sales rep associated with many different sales over in the sales table. Now I'm going to close this. How will you know that it worked? Well, as soon as we create a pivot table, I'm going to click in a single cell in the first table, insert pivot table, or use the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now we want to make sure that we select what type of data? Use this workbook's data model. Now I'm actually going to put this on the existing sheet, I-13. And when we click OK, there it is. That's our proof that it made it to the data model. Those dark lines on top of tables mean those tables are from the data model. So even if you don't have Power Pivot, it will appear with a black line, which means it's there. And really, the bottom line is all versions of Excel 2016 have the data model or the X-Velocity columnar database behind the scenes. It's only when you pay for the right version that you get Power Pivot and you have the ability to make calculated columns and a bunch of other things. But for our use, just building a relationship and then watch this dragging we have our unique list of regions, dragging fields from two different tables. Boom, it works even though we don't have Power Pivot. Now I'm going to get rid of that row label, design, layout, report layout, show in tabular. Right click, number formatting, and add some number formatting like currency. Click OK. So there you go. We got two tables into our pivot table field list. We created our regional sales report, and we didn't use VLOOKUP or some ifs. Now, actually, before we end this video, let's go check out one last thing. Let's go back up to data over to relationships. I'm going to click the relationship button, select the relationship. And when I say edit, look what it says now. Ah, the data model, data model table. Before, it said worksheet. And again, even if you don't have the right version of Excel 2016 that has Power Pivot, data model is still going to be there. And we can build these relationships and pull fields from two or more tables. All right, we'll see you next video.